I'll tell you what, I was going to grab him by the neck and throw him in the water. But Kerbox may do more than that to whip it when he finds out he's been had. In the water, Kerbox is fearless. On dry land, well, that's a different story. Box has got a bad phobia with heights, and uh, I've offered to take him skydiving before he blatantly refuses. So I thought, I'm about to go to lunch, he's about to go home, so we've got a bit of time together. I thought, might as well chuck him on that slingshot or whatever it's called, and uh, I don't know whether he'll do it or not, but if he doesn't, at least you'll have something to bag him about. See that? Oh, we're on no right now. way in the world. We're doing it. We're doing it. Hey, am I doing it, mate? Come on, buddy. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Why? My little time. 11 year old oh. sister did it. Oh. Come on, you're coming. I can't do Let's it. Let's go. We'll get you fear of oh, it. Come on, we're doing it. Oh, we're doing it. You're doing it. Now, if I get up there, you're going to try and frame me in the <laughs> My legs are like jelly. You're thinking about it. <laughs> come on, we we'll go. You two go. No, you're coming. Oh, no, I'm you. I reckon he'll try and run. But uh, I'll catch him if he does that anyway. No way I'm doing Whippet's been having trouble getting Kerbox to conquer his fear of heights. He was in the change room before and he couldn't even have a shower. He was talking to himself. <laughs> telling us to beat it. Telling us to get away from him. He didn't want us to be near him. So, all right, let's go, yeah? At least he's agreed to conquer his fear of watching the slingshot. But that's it. Oh. This is awful. What am I doing? Come on, box. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Oh, 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 oh Kerr box, you blew it. Yeah. There's no way in hell I could do that. Kerbox, fearless surfer, elite lifeguard, and now confirmed acrophobic. Oh, he's a coward. <laughs> you know, people have got phobias about different things and that, you know, I mean, oh, he'll pull into a 30-foot wave because there's water at the bottom, but like you said, there's no water at the bottom of this unless you end up in the harbour. So I don't know if it'll slingshot you that far. All right, back to work. <laughs> now it's payback time. Kerbox has recruited English tourist Katie to carry out a devious plan. But you know he was on Home and Away and stuff? Yeah. So I'd like you to kind of like really drive that one home. Okay. He'll go along with it for a while and then depending on how good you are and how much you annoy him, he'll probably just drive you nuts. I'll give it my best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Whippers with Azra on the water's edge and um, I've had a good chat to Azra, he's going to leg him up, so <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> There she goes. <laughs> She's moving in. Are you in? I recognise you from somewhere. Right. If I'm completely wrong, just, just say it's fine. Are you off home and away? I was, yes. <laughs> she said, are you off home and away? Oh, you look all different. <laughs> because I'm all grown up. All grown up, yeah. Katie's doing really good. All your freckles have gone as well. <laughs> He's growing a beard. Oh, He's all masculine and nerd. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a picture? Oh, okay. Come here. Yeah. Take your sunny <laughs> She's getting a photo and she's getting up pretty close and personal two. right now. Two. One each way. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you. I'm going to go and sit with my friend for a bit because right. I'm neglecting her. No worries. Bye. Someone who was my home away seven years ago. <laughs> oh, we've got him good. As Whippet heads back to the tower, it's a chance for Kerbox to no compare idea, notes right. with his co conspirators. Do you hear what he's been saying on the thing? Oh, I'm listening to every word. <laughs> he's got no idea. He thinks he's on. Yeah, I know. Fully. <laughs> See you, mate. Well, Ronnie roving to Whippet. Are you coming down in a minute? We need the megaphone down here. <laughs> no, no, I'm just coming back down now. Katie's just spotted him and uh, she's ready for round two. <laughs> she's got him hook, line and sinker. Hi! Hi. <laughs> have you got a girlfriend? I do have a girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, he's honest. She's asking him out now. So what are you doing tonight? What are we doing tonight? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> do, you, do you think I look like a pretty English girl? Right. How do you wear your hair when you go out? And what? And then am I going to meet you later? I don't know. I think she's starting to get to him a little bit now. What if I'm going somewhere with my girlfriend? But you never said that you were when I asked you. Yeah. <laughs>
back at neighbouring Bronte Beach, it's time for Kerbox to claim the spoils of his victory. Of course, in classic Aussie tradition, every good practical joke will demand revenge. That's pretty hilarious. Whippets fooled him into thinking that he's about to star in a TV commercial for a Japanese energy drink. Kervox has taken the morning off to star in the ad. We told him that the first series has gone big in Japan and that they're frothing over it over there. Um, and they're staked on him because he's like top lifeguard and he's a surfer. And so I've uh, enlisted the help of a couple of friends to pay him back. We've got a translator, a marketing manager and a director. Um, he's psyched, he's got no idea. He's going to spit it when he finds out. How are you? Um, you look much taller on television. <laughs> but you know, the Japanese audience just adore you. Oh, okay. What the? Just ride a jet ski and yeah, approaching yeah, yeah. to the beach yeah. and then uh, jump off the jet ski and then present uh, uh, our soft drink. Soft drink, okay. yes. Yeah, easy. Oh, mate, it is gold at the moment. It's a uh, hook, line and sinker. This is going to be the funniest thing ever. <laughs> oh, TV scene. Scene one, take two. For this lifeguard, it's only one drink that does it. Every day, I drink Nekano Oshiko. <sighs> How's that? <laughs> it was very good, but uh, next time, can you try the hot dog? Because uh, we didn't know you were balding. Uh, what? We didn't know you were balding, your head there. Yeah, oh, you were losing your hair. Yeah, yeah. So uh, try the hot dog this time. Yeah, right. And also... Stop losing your hair, I want the hat back. <laughs> Give me the hat. What is that? You can't bother me the hat. <laughs> that he's too short so far that he looks taller on TV and that he's going bald. So, what's the problem this time? When you deliver a line, can you present your pectoral and suck your stomach in? Yep. Never ever relax your abdominal, just suck your abdominal in. Imagine you're the hero in an action movie. Yep. Maybe so you're Mel Gibson on Bondi. <laughs> this may be the hardest money he's never earned. For this lifeguard, there's only one drink that does it. Nekano Oshiko. Um, okay, Mr. Rodney, he thinks you lack like, uh, dignity, presence, and the charisma, so he wants more of a TV, oh, not TV, uh, movie star quality. I'm about to change the game. You gotta be a movie star. I'm a Scene one, take four. Every day, I drink Nekano Oshiko. Yeah, you look like a. Yeah, yeah, you look like a bit old man, so just imagine you're the most popular uh, lifeguard in Japan. Okay. And remember, present your chest and suck your stomach in. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I'll tell you. I'll knock him out. And remember, dignity, presence, and charisma. Okay. Kerbox summons all his dignity, presence, and charisma for one more take. For this lifeguard, there's only one drink that does it. Every day I drink Nekano Oshiko. <sighs> With Kerbox's patience wearing thin, the Japanese director decides to call it a wrap. I am sick. Don't get much better, really. Well, I can't do any better than that. Sick. Um, Mr. Rodney, it was a beautiful take, uh, and uh, I'm sure. We are sure that uh, your future as a TV star in Japan <laughs> is now from, uh, guaranteed. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you see? You look old and tired. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I was going to grab the naked frame in the water. But Kerbox may do more than that to whip it when he finds out he's been had. Japan's favourite lifeguard, Rodney Kerr, 
is about to watch the energy drink ad that will bring him fame and fortune. Ready? <laughs> Number one lifeguard, Bondi Beach. Looking and Lord Rodney Kerr. He likes the big waves. He likes the beautiful women. But he only likes one drink. For this lifeguard, there's only one drink that does it. Every day I drink Mekano Oshiko. Kerbox still hasn't twigged. Now it's time to reveal the sting. Well, Rod, I think you did an amazing job today. Don't listen to the little bloke in the hat. You got bucket loads of charisma. <laughs> but in all, I had to get you back. I didn't think I'd get you this good, but you know, you're playing with the best. Whole thing set up. Where's your pasty? That's what he was trying to say. Who was he? <laughs> Just, <laughs> it's this boy we found on the beach the other day. <laughs> But what is Nikko no Oshiko? <laughs> it means cat's piss. <laughs> Every day I drink Nikko no Oshiko. <laughs> oh, that was the best sketch we're in all the time. <laughs> <laughs> 